Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 131, working with choices in Liquid. Liquid is a fantastic language for reading and displaying data from Dataverse on your Power Apps Portal. Once you've retrieved a particular row from Dataverse, for example, by using fetch XML, by going through the entities object, or by referencing the global user object, you can get the value of its columns by using either the dot notation or via the indexer syntax. For many column types, using either of these syntaxes will give you the value of the column. For example, if you want the first name of the currently logged in user, you can do user.firstName. However, there are some column types that are a bit different, including lookups and choices. In this tip, I'll cover choices, also known as option sets. Choices are represented as dropdowns in a model-driven app. The options in the dropdown each have two elements that you need to keep in mind. The label that appears to the user, which can be translated into different languages, and the underlying integer value that corresponds to that option and is stored in the database. When you reference a choice column in Liquid, you have access to both of these values via the label and value properties. Typically, the value is used if you want to perform any conditional logic, and the label is used for display purposes. As an example, if you want to get the shipping method for the currently logged in contact, you can use user.shippingMethodCode.label to get the label, and user.shippingMethodCode.value to get the underlying integer value. If you attempt to output the choice column without further referencing either the label or value, you will see nothing, as there is no string representation of the object itself. It is also important to note that as of the time of this tip, multi-select choices are not supported in Power Apps portals, so referencing these columns in Liquid will not display anything. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps portals tip number 131 on working with choices in Liquid useful.